What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a crazy strong team that features Life Orb Kyogre and Choice Spec Shadow Rider Calyrex. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. We got seven days, exactly a week to go until Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet is released. I'm going to be bringing you guys tons of content. So like I said, if you're not subscribed, and if you don't have those notification bells wrong, make sure you get on top of that ASAP, ASAP. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Start off in that top left corner. We got the one and only Wimscott. Wimscott is probably one of the best support Pokemons and probably one of the best Tailwind setters in the game. It's got Prankster alongside with the Focus Sash, and then it's got Tailwind, Moonblast, Helping Hand, and Taunt for a good move set. Second Pokemon is going to be Kyogre. Do I really need to talk about this Kyogre? I guess I will. It's got Drizzle, it's got the Life Orb, but then it's got normal move set, Protect, Thunder, Water Spout, Ice Beam. You guys have seen this hundreds of times. Middle left is going to be Indeedee. Indeedee was actually not really seen too much in Series 13, but now that the Series 12 rule set is back, Indeedee's back in action. It's got Psychic Surge alongside with Psychic Seeds, and it's got Mystical Fire for uh, coverage and special attack drops. Follow me to, uh, you know, do that follow me and protect the ally Pokemon. Helping hand to make ally Pokemon do more damage, and then you got Protect for its final move. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Kartana. I've been seeing a ton of Kartana in Series 14, and it's awesome because I think Kartana is a cool Pokemon and it doesn't get used too much. It's got Beast Boost as its ability, alongside with the Salt Vest as its item. It's Rockin' Leaf Blade, Aerial Ace, Sacred Sword, and Smart Strike for its four moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Calyrex over here. Not just any Calyrex, it is a Choice Specs Calyrex. And if you guys seen one of my videos where I use a Choice Specs Calyrex, it does a crazy amount of damage and it just rips your Pokemon because Already, it's faster than most Pokemon in the game, and then give it the choice specs on top of that, it's just doing a crazy amount of damage. It's got Leaf Storm, it's got Expanded Force, Mudshot, and Astro Barrage for its four moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Regilek. You cannot go wrong with this Pokemon. Great on most teams and great for Speed Control. It's got Thunderbolt, it's got E-Web, Protect, and then Eerie Impulse for that minus two special attack drop on opposing Pokemon. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, but the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Life Orb Kyogre and Choice Specs Shadow Rider Calyrex. First match coming at you guys, let's get after it. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Going up against a Kyogre and Zassian team with the Regilecki, Landorus, Celesteela, and Grimstraw. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Speed Control is a must, so I might lead Wimscott on this one. Right? Looking at his team, I feel like Wimscott could be solid. He could lead an Intimidate Pokemon, but Weather Control is going to be great for us. Weather Control is going to be good, so maybe I might just go Kyogre and Regilecki as a lead. I feel like that could be pretty solid. I mean, he could definitely lead Grimstar and kind of get after it with screens, but I'm not too worried about it. I think I want to go Regilecki Kyogre instead of Whimsicott. I'm all about it. We're going to bring Choice Specs Kyogre in the back end because that thing is absolutely ridiculously strong. And then last but not least, I think Kartana as a back end Pokemon solid here as well. It's going to be super effective up against that Grimstar. It has a lot of coverage moves, has a Soul Vest. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But two things before we actually hop into battle number one. First one is going to be question of the day. And that is if you have seen any of the brand new or any of the leaks, what are your guys' thoughts or who is your favorite Pokemon in the new Paradox form? So they released, I think it was like 16 of them. Past and future Pokemon. And I think they look really, really cool. So let me know your guys' uh, favorite P Paradox Pokemon as of right now. Second thing I want to go over is since Sword and Shield is kind of ending and we're not going to be doing ranked battles on this game anymore, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see me use my first ever team I use when recording Pokemon Sword and Shield ranked battles. Considering that was like 600 videos ago and almost three years ago, I think it would be a cool little video to do just to use those Pokemon on the rank ladder and see how we can rock out with them. But um, he's going to end up leading Kyogre alongside with... Uh, Grimstar, and I think at this point we can just go into a geyser here and go straight after Grimigrim. Then I could E-Web, but I'm thinking of just Eerie Impulsing. Minus twoing that. I think we get a lot more value out of that. So I'm kind of about just going straight into uh this Kyogre with an Eerie Impulse. I think that's a I think that's a decent play. Because maybe, just maybe after that, we can eat up water spout and then get off a turn with my original key. Unless he's choice, but I feel like. I feel like what's called can outspeed still, Regilek, because he's so fast. Such a fast Pokemon. But yeah, we're down to Max Nar Ogre. Getting after it's Life Orb. He's just a great Dynamax Pokemon. Super, super strong. Let's see how this plays. He could actually protect the Kyogre. Oh, we're going to see double Dyna. We're seeing double Dynamax. So this Eerie Impulse is going to be really good for us, which I'm all about. Hopefully the Grimstar is not faking out. I can see him definitely setting up maybe like an H-Green. Could do him really, really well. And then we'll kind of just go from there. 
It might take off the weather. I don't know. Do I want the rain? I mean, the rain gives us both power. I don't know if I'm going to take it off. Let's see how this one plays. He's going to go for the light screen. That's totally fine. We're going to eerie impulse up onto that Kyogre, which is going to be big. And maybe, just maybe, Regilek, he can eat up a shot after that. So, eerie impulse flies. Minus two on that special attack. We love it. My Kyogre is going to outspeed, which is gorgeous. We know he has speed. And this might KO. I mean, light screen's out and about. Let's see. Well, almost. Almost. So, I E-Web at this point. I might just E-Web and then uh, Max Light. He's going to go for Geyser at this point. And that might take out my Regilek. Right? Let's see. Regilek, can you eat this? cannot even minus two even minus two you're dead god dang it like, yeah, i mean i'll take that all day that, that ain't too bad but at this point i could just bring out cartana right or i can just go into respect calyrex so i'm kind of liking i'm kind of liking if i can get off some big damage i can uh, take out the grim snarl i get off some big damage on the kyogre then i can drop a max lightning on top of that kind of all about it all about it let's do it no berries allowed we're gonna thrive through it. And then if he leaves my uh if he leaves my Calyrex to stay alive here, we are gonna need plus one and then we're just gonna do even more damage. But he has a light screen out. I don't like the light screen. Hopefully he doesn't set up a reflect, because Cartana can get some work done on the back end. Of course he takes him out of Regilecki. I wish I would have had one more turn. One more turn with Regilecki could have been really solid for us. But I'm hoping that my Calyrex can just straight up eat up shots. I would love to have Calyrex for the next turn. It would be huge for it. Let's see what Grim Snarl does here. I don't think he's rocking Sucker Punch. I really don't. It's going to scary face me, so it's going to slow me down. That's actually not a bad play by him. The smart play by him before he goes out. We are going to be able to drop an Astro Barrage, take out the Grim Snarl, do a tad bit of damage onto the uh, Kyogre. The Light Screen's definitely helping him out tremendously. But Grim Knight is going to get boosted. Can we please eat up this Geyser? Please! We know the Geyser's coming into Calyrex. We know it is. Please eat it up. He's minus two. Come on, Cali. All day, yo. All day. That's a great eat up for Calyrex. That's a beautiful eat up because now we're plus one. Max Lightning's going to fly here. Do eh, a little bit of damage. <laughs> a little bit of damage. But we set the Light Train, which isn't too bad. And we're going to go from there, yo. Dude, Light Train's just too good. The screens are just so strong. The screens are just so strong. We are a scary face, so our speed is lower. His Kyogre now outspeeds us. But what can we do from here? Except Kartana, if I had to guess, doesn't he have Zacian? I might throw Zassian out here, let's see. He's gonna go Zassian here. I can't protect Calyrex. We know he's gonna protect Zassian. Right? I feel like he has to protect Zassian here. I feel like it's an absolute must that he protects Zassian. So from here, I'm just gonna do that, and I'm just gonna go into an Astral Barrage, right? I mean, I'm choice into it at this point. But I feel like he just has to protect Zassian. Hopefully he doesn't, because if he doesn't, he's gonna have to take a plus one Astral Barrage. Which should do a nice chunk of damage. Let's see what he does. Yep. He protects. That was just an easy read, but still, it was a smart play to do. He still has a nice upper hand. He's going to take out my Calyrex this turn. And we're probably not going to be able to take out his Kyogre. Kind of sucks. So we get off some nice damage. Some nice lovely chip damage. Guys are going to fly here. We're going to say bye-bye to our Calyrex. Dude, that light screen is just so powerful. That's why I always preach that that Grim Snarl setup with the light screen and all that stuff. Scary face, the screens, and spirit break. It's just insanely, like, the one of the best support Pokemon. So that's why it's one of my favorites. It's just so strong. Screens are just OP. Especially with Light Clay. They last pretty much the whole match. So he takes out that Pokemon. I have Kartana that is going to be able to outspeed Kyogre, which is good. And I don't know if Zassian can take out my Kyogre. That could be really good. This could calm down. This could be actually really close. We bring out our boy Kartana here. Dynamax is finally over. He does not have Reflect up. It's a good battle. It's a solid battle. It's a solid battle, but we are definitely in a hole here because we know that that Pokemon is so strong. And of course... Ah, of course he has. Of course he has. We don't have Origin Pulse. Origin Pulse could be really good. Uh, I guess I'll go into a Leaf Ball here. Wait right into the Kyogre. So I'll try to get a Beast Boost and kind of go from there. So our Kyogre protects. That's good because we know we're slower. So his Kyogre's not protecting. So we go for a Player Off. We block it. And then Kartana should be able to outspeed, right? Cool. So we get Beast Boost on attack. That's a solid turn from us. Very, very, very solid turn from us. So that makes me not want to go into water spell because if he hits me with a player off, we're either dead or we are uh we're either dead or we're low on HP, so we're not gonna do a lot of damage. Let's see who he brings out because we're plus one on attack. We're plus one on attack, that was solid protect from us. Let's see who he brings out. He's gonna bring out Celestila. Celestila comes out and about. Who do we go after here? 
Definitely gotta drop a thunder. I kinda wanna double down. This should be double down right at this Asian. Go for Smart Strike. Yeah, it's stab. It's gonna do the most damage. So we're going with Smart Strike plus one. Let's see what he does. And he protects Celestial. Hold up. Wait a minute, Jeans. Miss your play rough. Miss it! Dude, I, I, miss, I miss all my playoffs. And it just dumps on my Kyogre. Get out of my face with that. It just dumps on my Kyogre. Pokemon's way too strong. Smart Strike's gonna fly here. We have a shot at this? I don't know. Do we? That's about half. Do, do we think he protects Zassian? Light screen's gone. Hmm. That hurts his soul, man. That hurts his soul. He's probably gonna protect Zassian, but our only way of winning this battle is him not protecting Zassian. So I'm gonna target down Zassian slot. He probably protects it, right? Yes. Yeah, see, I, I kind of, I, I saw that coming from a mile away. Could have made the read, but it wouldn't have done anything. It really wouldn't have done anything. Because we, we, we need we need the Zassian gone to win this. He, got, he has Flamethrower on Celestia. That's going to take us out. That's four times super effective, and that's going to be GG's. Solid match number one. Our opponent ends up taking the victory. We'll top to a second battle. Look for a first win. Second match coming at you guys. We are sitting 0-1. Let's grab ourselves a first win for today's video. Going up against a easily readable trick room team right here but still super powerful gonna be tough but like i said it's trick room all day he's got porygon too he's got uh what is that palkia amoongus who's crazy strong in trick room because it can just put everybody to sleep and then he also has the incineroar the top of finny and the calyrex okay how should i play this i think i feel like he leads like p2 here right p2 is definitely an option i could go kai ogre for a nice solid lead i could also go in dd but i kind of want somebody with like taunt which would be like whimsical, right that could be nice here. I mean, then he could just Rage Powder, right? But we're Grass type, and Rage Powders were not affected by that. So I kind of like a Wimscott here. I do kind of like a Wimscott here. He could lead Fake Out as well. Hmm. This is tough. I don't like this game. Not one bit. I mean, I could go instead of Kai Ogre. Hmm. Nah, I like Kai Ogre better than that. I'm going to go Calyrex, and I think I'm just going to go... I think I'll go Regilecki here, right? That's your Kartana. Kind of sounds too bad, but... I mean, nah, I think I'm going to go Kartana. Nah, we're going to go Reggie. We're going to go Reggie. Man, this is going to be tough, yo. This team is actually one of the strongest teams that was in Series 12. I think Series 12 was when uh, Worlds went on. I think this team was used frequently in Worlds. And it's just so strong. It is legit. It's pretty easy to use, too. You kind of just set up Trick Room. You kind of just roll out strong with Palkia and uh, Kala. Pretty much, pretty much the name of the game with this team. But it's, so, it's just super strong. It's hard to counter up on, in my opinion. Let's see who he ends up leading. Palkia and P2, maybe? Palkia and the Cinema. So, Palkia is going to be... We gotta, be, we gotta taunt that Pokemon, but... Ah, this is just gonna be tough. He gets off tricking easily. Super easily. But at the cost of his Incineroar, right? At the cost of his Incineroar. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna taunt the Palkia here. And I'm just gonna water spat across the board. Right? Oh, dude, this is tough. Unless you just Dynamax Palkia. Yeah, I'm gonna Water Spout. And I'll, I'll just taunt here, I guess. I think he's gotta go for Fake Out here, right? Yep. Fake Out into Wimscott. Yeah, so he easily gets off that uh, that Trick Room. We take out the Incineroar, though. And he's gonna roll out so strong. Is that Focus Sash Incineroar? It is what? <laughs> Yo, that's actually crazy. Never seen that before. Packet pops trick room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We understand. Um, I think I might Dynamax my boy right here. My Kyogre might be the best bet for Dynamaxing. We're going to a geyser again, but landing wouldn't be bad. Hailstorm wouldn't be too bad. Hailstorm we can buff it, take out. So I'm kind of all about that. And then just moon blasting on top of that, trying to get that special attack drop. So we'll see. Oh no, he's gonna parting shot. I hate this game. Don't like it one bit. So he's gonna parting shot in my Kyogre. That's tough news. Like I said, dude, this team is so strong. Like, do we? I don't think we had any ways countering up. Unless he went into it. We had to go into Indeedee and Wimscott, which is awful. The dude, like, the worst lead. I could have went into maybe, like, Regilecki Dynamax it. Problems, problems, problems. Let's see. Oh no, it goes into Darkest Slayer. I'm cool with that. I thought he was going to go into Partner Shot. I actually like that a lot better. So the Darkest Slayer is made. We're able to soak. Palkia is not going to Dynamax. He's just going to drop a Thunder. Do not paralyze me. Do not. 
Do not. Not gonna say a word. Not gonna say a word because I already know I'm gonna lose a turn here. Oh, thank you. That hurts, man. That hurts, sir. We end up going into this little hailstorm here. I mean, Paralyze actually makes us faster in the turn, but we gotta hope that the RNG is not gonna screw us over. Buffets are gonna take out Incineroar. Moonblast has a high chance of taking this out, right? I think I think it takes it out, right? Correct. Get it on out of here. Beautiful. So double kill for this turn. Not too bad. We got a crit, even though the crit didn't even matter. And then he's gonna bring out. We already know who he's bringing out. Calyrex and maybe P2 might come in the back end. But I think we brought Regilek where Cartana would have been nice. But we need to waste out Trick Room. And I would love to change up weather here too. I would really like to change up weather to get the buffets off. Actually, I don't know. Okay, I, don't, I don't really mind the buffets. I don't have any focus ashes. But he's going to go into Calyrex here. And his next Pokemon is going to be Tapu Tapu. So the Tapu Wapu Lapu is coming out here. And I might just drop a lightning in the Tapu. But Calyrex is just a pain, dude. He, he can win this battle super easily. My house one place. You're going to go into the Misty Surge. Um, do I drop a lightning into that? Or do I just straight up geyser with stab? I said we go after that thing. I guess I'll just moon blast into Calyrex. I guess I'll do that. See how he plays. He goes for Glacial Lance, which is really smart play to do. And my Kyogre. My Kyogre should go first. It's a really smart play for him to go in that Glacial Lance because he gets plus one before he can do the Dynamax. That's just enormous. And I cannot protect my Calyrex, which sucks. The lightning's gonna fly here. I need my Kyogre to actually survive this turn. Okay, cool. Kyogre survives. Uh, I cannot protect him. But we take out the Tapu, and this Calyrex can easily, easily, easily win this game. Easily win this game. How many turns left to trick him, though? I need it to be like one, but I feel like it's two. I need it to be one, but I feel like it's two, because I cannot protect you. I can't protect the Kyogre. Which I think I might just do. I think I might have to drop a little protect here. I hope that this guy isn't going for Glacial Lands. I'm actually gonna poke you. We don't have focus as usual either. And two turns left in trick room. I have to double protect you, right? Correct? Oh no, I have Dynamax. Ah! Uh, I think I have to guard. I think I have to double protect. It's an absolute must. I think I'm gonna go for the double double protect. Let's see, yeah, he's Dynamax, right? No, he's not Dynamax. Yo, stop it. Protect coming out here. I need to land a double protect. Glacial Lance coming in here. I think I might go for protects again. I hope that one of these guys can actually uh, land it. Especially Regilecki would be good. Right, I need to I need to land a protect because I'm I'm dead. Like both my Pokemon died to a Glacial Lance. So we're gonna go for double protect. Protect. Protect again. <laughs> and I don't think we're landing one of these. Kyogre Pex. We missed that one. Come on, Reggie. Reggie! Dude, can't do it. Can't do it. Can't deal with it. Okay, uh, we have Cali left. I mean, we have speed here. We were dead regardless. Like, regardless, we were, we're dead. Like, it didn't, it didn't matter. Like, the double protect had to have been a play. Now he's plus three. He still has Dynamax, correct? He didn't Dynamax yet. He did not Dynamax. He's plus three. Now, the real question is... Can Calyrex KO a Dynamax Cal Ice Rider Calyrex? If he doesn't Dynamax, we win. But if he does, I think we lose. We don't have Sash, which sucks. Even if we did have Sash. Even if we did have Sash, it wouldn't matter. But it's Stab. It's super effective. It's Choice Spect. That combination might be able to get it done. Let's make it up. He's got Dynamax here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a smart play by him. I actually not Dynamax and just go for the version. That was a really smart play. But I don't think we, I don't think we KO here. Maybe we get a crit. Maybe maybe we add on top of that multiplier. Maybe we add on top. But I just don't see us KO in the Calyrex shot. The only Pokemon I ever seen do that was a Dynamax or Zacian, right? Or Zacian. Let's see how someone plays out here. Astro Blast coming in hot. A lot of damage, but not enough. Hurts the soul, Hailstorm flies through here. We don't even have Focus Ash. And that's gonna be GG. He's plus three. 
Wow, man. 0-2. Oh, 0-2. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. We're playing so good, too. We're playing so good. But, again, that team is just so hard to counteract on. But it's just like Trick Room is just crazy strong. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and we have to grab ourselves some win here. You guys know I never go 0-3 in Sword and Shield videos, and we're not starting now. We're going up against another Trick Room team with Copycat Lipard, which I think he's going to lead, right? It definitely seems like an option. Does uh, Wimps kind of outspeed that? So I can just taunt at that point. I mean, can you still use Copycat through taunt? I'm not too sure. I am not too sure. So I might just go into Wimsicott here. I'm sorry, maybe like Kyogre. What's up, maybe the Ogre. Wouldn't be bad. I'm kind of digging that. I'm going to go Kyogre. I'm going to bring Calyrex in the back end. And then I kind of want Kartana here. He has Grimstarl. He has a few other Pokemon that I like Kartana in the situation. So we're bringing him in here. We're bringing him in here. And I'm telling you guys, we're winning this. But we have to watch out for the Copycat Live one. Because if you guys do not know that combo, a Pokemon with Trick Room can Dynamax and then use that Trick Room as a max card, and the Life Park can copycat that max card into a Trick Room and get it off right away. And get it off right away. So let's see, he goes Life Park and Calyx. So yeah, I think I'm just going to taunt the, uh... Right? I gotta taunt the, the Life Park. I have to taunt the Life Park. Because I don't know, does copycat count as... Like, does that go under taunt? I don't think you can copycat it. That, that thing's not dark type, is it? Please tell me that's not dark type. It's dark type. I can't taunt it. He gets off free trick room. He gets off free trick room. It is dark type, and I totally forgot about it. Okay, so he's just going to copycat live part trick room. We'll deal with it later. Deal with that later. I'm going to get rid of the live part here, and then I'm just going to Dynamax it over. Okay, of course it's dark type. Can't believe I forgot about it. Like once it went in, I'm like, he's not dark type, is he? And then I kind of was thinking, I was like, he might be dark type. Let me check it out. I checked these dark types of pranks wouldn't work. How could have I went around this? With, with the team I have, I don't think I could have went around it. I think it's just a free setup for him. Yep, there's a the max guard. Fly from 18,653 miles away. He's going to Quapi Cat, and it's a free trick. The trick room's out and about. I don't think I could have countered it. Thinking of the Pokemon I have, I don't I don't think I could have countered it. The Trick Room's here. And he's probably just going to Hailstorm into my Wimpscott next turn. So we do this, bop, bring it down to Sash, and then we just take it out. Because we're not dealing with it with a support Pokemon. We're not dealing with it. I think I have to Dynamax my Ogre here as well. I think it's a must to Dynamax it. This is tough, man. Trick room playing up against Trick Room is really tough. Really tough. So we get rid of Lipard. Uh, from here, what could we do? We could just straight up Helping Hand or Kyogre. Because I feel like that's all the value we can get out of Wimscott. Because it's probably going to die here. It's going to bring out Kyogre of its own. Do I just Lightning that? I think Lightning might be the play. Do you have Focus Sash on your Wimscott? You do. That is good. It's really good. So I am just going to straight up Helping Hand. And I feel like going straight into a Max Lightning. Helping hand, lightning, let's do it. Let's do it. Rather do that than go after the Calyrex. The Calyrex is just gonna eat up all day. She's gonna eat it up all day. And there's a slight chance that my Kyogre is actually slower than his Kyogre. Which probably not because his team is built for Trick Room. There's a slight chance, so if it is, we're just gonna take no damage after him. So we'll see. We shall see. Helping hand coming out here from the Wimscott. And if I can just waste out these Trick Room turns, I have two Pokemon that can easily counter up onto that. Alex in the back end. The helping hand flies. I'm guessing he's going for Hailstorm in the room, Scott, right? Correct. Look for that plus one. No, he goes for a Mindstorm. I'm not fine with that. Kyogre should be able to eat a Mindstorm. Yeah. It's pretty well. It eats pretty well here. So if we get off that, I can guard here too next turn. Just to waste out the trick and turns. And we are slower. That's beautiful. This should be able to take out Kyogre, right? Awesome. Yo, beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, I might guard this turn. I might guard because, again, I just want to waste out these Trick Room turns. That's all I want to do with these two Pokemon. If I can waste out the Trick Room turns and waste out this dude's Dynamax turns, let me sit in good. Because he only has one more Dynamax turn. He had to waste one turn on the guard. That is not too bad for us. How to waste out Trick Room. And Sinor's going to come out here. Going to fake me out. No bueno. Um, do I still guard? He could fake out and go to it. I feel like I have to go. He has to be going after me, right? Gotta be a play. I'll try to get off a of Moonblast here. Yeah, I have to go. An absolute must. 
It's an absolute must. Do. He can, oh, he can't fake me out. He cannot fake me out. He set up that terrain. Actually, we changed it back. Never mind. I was gonna say he set up the psychic terrain so he can't fake that, but we but we changed it back to electric so he can't fake out. All right, we're just hoping he's going into me here. Cause if he takes out my woman's cot, then we could be sitting in a little troublesome spot. But but we learned from last battle that my Calyrex can take out his Calyrex in one shot, no problem if he's not. We almost did it while he was Dynamax. So we end up setting up the Max Guard. Show me you're going into him. He does. Beautiful read by us. We go into the Max Guard. And he's just going to go into the Flare Blitz. Okay, we can you eat this up? I mean, it's raining. Wim Scott, I love you. So, dude, these Trick Room turns are wasting out here, which is perfect for us. Perfect. And we still have another Dynamax turn. We still have another Dynamax turn. So, Calyrex is going to go down here. No more Dynamax from him. I'm going to go into a Geyser here. He might double down into me. But Helping Hand. How many turns left in Trick Room? How many turns are left in Trick Room? Two. I'm, uh, I'm still going to taunt this Pokemon. I just don't want to set up Trick Room later in the match. Do I taunt it? We're going to go into taunt. Actually, I should go after it here. I should go after it. You know what? I'm just going to Moonblast. Incineroar slot. I'm just going to try to take out that Pokemon. This Calyrex is the only way we lose here. If it just starts like Glacial Lancing and taking out my Pokemon. Stacking that boost and rolling out from there. That would be the only way we lose this battle. But not bad. This is how you got to play with Trick Room. Here's for Glacial Lance. Hyger's able to eat. Can you? You should be able to eat up whatever this Incineroar has to offer, right? Flare Blitz is not going to do 80 damage. I don't think Darkest Slayer can do 80 damage as well. Chilling Nate's going to boost. And if we can get off this Geyser, it is going to be game, set, match. He parting shots me. Now that's weird, but I feel like I feel like we still take out this Cali here, right? I feel like Calyrex still dies, right? We're minus one, but it's stab. It's in the rain. When he does eat. Oh, that was great play by him then. Lovely play by him. Um, Wow, this is tough. This is tough. Because I don't have protect on either of these Pokemon. So I need... <laughs> Yo, this is going... We might lose this. I know, I do have Protect on Kyogre. I gotta Protect Kyogre here. 100% yeah, Protect. 100% Protect Kyogre. And obviously I'm gonna go for the Sacred Sword here. And then we Protect Kyogre. This is tough. How much? How many turns are left in Rain? I would love to have Rain for next turn. I would love to have Rain for next turn. Because if we can get Rain for next turn... I can land my Thunders 100%. But Cortana survives on 5, so he does not get the boost. He goes for the Flare Blitz. He's going to take us out. Wow, that Calyrex really... She just took out the Incineroar. I mean, but if we take it out the Incineroar, we would still be sitting at the same problem right here. Okay, so rain stops. That kind of hurts Soul, and Calyrex is going to come out here. Alright. Get this rolling. So Calyrex comes out here. We will be able to take out his Calyrex, no problem. It's low on HP. He'll go into a mud shot. Oh, that might be my play. I might go into a mud shot instead. Hmm. I don't really like that. This is more damage anyway. I mean, that uh, does it really. The leaf storm now. What does more damage? Because I want to go after some civil. So mud shot can come out here. Mud shot would do double damage, so it'd be 110. It'd be 110 plus choice back. So it would be 110. This would only do 90. Mud shot would do more. But do I just go for the boost here? I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go for the thunder. We're going like this. He might protect the Calyx here. He does not, so Ashabrash is gonna fly here. Get rid of Calyrex. And oh, this one's gonna be close because I don't know if I can land a Thunder. Can I land a Thunder, please? 70 accuracy. No rain, but it's our best bet, right? It's our best bet. Thunder does connect. Can it just pick up the KO for me so I don't have to worry about this match anymore? KO for the win. Paralyze, please. Give me the paralyze. Throw chop coming out here. We die to that, right? Alright. 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 We're sitting here. 
Do I go for a wa will water spout KO? Is the real question. I feel like it should, right? Because ice beam probably not. Thunder we have a huge chance of missing, but water spouts 100. percent And I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We're sending it here. I'm saying the KOs, right? It, we're, we're life orb. It's stab. It's super effective. KO, please. Thank you. Thank you. I would have lost my mind if that didn't KO. I know it was doing little little damage, but he only had a little bit of damage left on him. But life orb is going to take us out. We got the KO first, and we end up picking up that win in battle number three. Not a bad set of battles for today. Went one and two, but all three battles were solid all around. We came close to losing that battle in battle number three, but Water Spout Kai Ogre with that life orb came in clutch for us to grab ourselves our first victory for today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.